Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Arthur Kravva One, and today we are finally in Atlas, able to play. Pretty much our entire company has gotten past the completely bottlenecked free ports, where everyone's getting disconnected, everybody can't play, everyone can't get out of. There's 600 ping, and we're on a different server section, so a different quadrant of the map, and we have good ping. We pretty much own an entire island right now. Um, with our claim flags everywhere but today I just wanted to start doing my videos off with just going over the skill trees in the game so there are a ton of them right here as you can see and a cool thing right now is you're able to respec with this button right here and it just seems to be on some type of cooldown that's not even super long so it seems that this is a very early like a version of respecting or something just so you're able to do it so early on um so you're not you just so they don't have it where you don't have the ability um so i'm gonna respect and i'm gonna try to go through everything it's gonna take a minute because it's kind of hard to find everything i'm assuming that these skill trees will be redone at some point because it's kind of hard to get through everything just some extra information on um, going through it would be better because you have to go through like say you have to go to this first skill tree Say you unlock construction, right? You go to construction See these ones are locked so it would unlock construction, right? Then you say you have to go down to sh Seamanship so you'd have to go to wherever seamanship is you'd have to get that to unlock Seamanship which is right there. So it's kind of weird how you go through it um, But it is a cool skill system because it is kind of like an old-school MMO type mix kind of So I'm just gonna respec and we're gonna pretty much go through everything I have to put skills in it is cool because it does go through your character stats So we can go with the character stats too. It's just health which increases your health weight increase your weight stamina increases your stamina, fortitude, um, affects ability to handle extreme temperatures and the rate of decrease of all vital stats. So vital stats we can also go through, but vital stats are basically just your vitamins, all this type of stuff. We can actually go through that closer in another video. Um, then intelligence is a, has a little bit more. Once, once ability to craft items quickly with additional stat bonuses, Reduced cooldown on feats and utilization of magical skills. So basically it reduces the abilities you can get through skills and it um, increases the basically quality of stuff you craft out of blueprints and then makes you craft stuff faster. So first off, these don't actually tell you a lot of stuff. Um, but it's the basics. This just gives you like all the basic tools, the cloth armor, all that type of stuff. Simple bed. This one just gives you spears. This one unlocks construction, which we're gonna go through all the other ones before we go to in, in, into the different trees. This one increases the speed at which you swim through water, um, water keeper or water skin. On um, this one, you get smithy, shovel, grappling hook, fishing rod, scissors, all the metal tools, stuff like that. This one's archery, which is another one, hand to hand, which is another um, tree, more improved water swimming, oxygen rate, so basically, um, lets you be underwater for longer. That's cooking. That's another one. Medicine is another one. Basic higher hand harvesting. So that's basically um, picking stuff off the ground. So I'm, I don't know if this works on rocks. I've never actually used this, but I know it would be like um, picking plants and stuff like that. Beast mastery, which is another skill. Improve water sp um, swimming again. Oxygen. Water temperature. So Decrease the rate of which vitamins deplete over time when at or less than equilibrium. And I think this is just either being underwater or it might be being a certain amount away from islands on a ship. A lot of these don't exactly tell you. They don't have the best tools tips right now because it's so early on in early access. But you can kind of infer what some of them give you. Vitamin reduction weight rate, which you have four vitamins in this game, vitamin A, B, C, D, and they're, they all come from different things. So um, D is fish, I'm pretty sure, A is vegetables, stuff like that. You'll be able to make food later on that, um, that gives you multiple ones. Um, more oxygen rate, more temperature, more vitamins. And then these are just all upgrades to the um, 
like percentage skills and stuff like that. So we will go into construction first. So construction, we have tech basics. Now some of this stuff doesn't really seem to do much besides give you uses. So there are different uses. Like there's different rarities in the games, which we've actually got none of you have to do drops and like higher tier stuff to get recipes for different rarity of like weapons, armor, building, pieces, stuff like that. So there's like, I know mythical is one of the ones there's probably like epic. We haven't gotten any, so we don't know all of them, but you need certain skills to use higher tiers of stuff and they even use some basic tiers of stuff. So this one gives all the basic thatch and rope building materials. Handyman gives you all the repair stuff, storage box, stuff like that. Um, weaving lets you build the loom, which is basically for like, um, I think it's, it's maybe some type of armors and then some other stuff. Um, chemicals by tanning so it's basically a tannery um, gives you mortar and pestle as well um, you make armor here you make all the mortar and pestle stuff gunpowder stuff like that um, more tool stuff so these um, is just to be able to use see that's to be able to use mythic quality so it's just being able to use more mythical quality stuff these are repair bonus increases um, so these mini games is going to talk about throughout a bunch of them are just so there's basically like a mini game that's a bar and if you click it again in the bar something happens faster or you get more basically so there's a tannery there's more building stuff um there's metallurgy so you actually have to learn how to make the forge and you, once you learn how to make the forge you learn how to make the ingots inside of it, it doesn't auto cook anything so if someone else in your company puts on a forge you can actually make the ingots in it i don't know if that's really good or bad it definitely makes it um you know your skills a lot more needed um also as you can see i have a lot of points and max level for me right now is 51 and i'm 36 i'm pretty sure discovering more areas and islands on the map increase your max level not 100 percent certain on that yet then we have just more of those skill increases. We have crafting speed increases. Um, then seamanship, um, more crafting speed stuff. These are all just more buffs. Then this one at the very end gives you all the stone stuff. So as you can see there, you know, stone gateways, all that type of stuff, stone stuff. Um, then we have mastery and weapons. So this unlocks a weapon mastery. We have armor mastery. We can just go back and do what is up next so hand to hand a lot of the stuff i haven't even looked all the way through so it's kind of different for me as well because i haven't looked through all of these this one's all hand to hand it doesn't actually seem i don't know if this would be that good i haven't really tested it it doesn't seem like it'd be that great just because you take so much damage right now even with the decent like higher up armor we've made um so it's like reduces incoming damage from melee hits increase the amount of time available to counterattack after blocking um, breath control decreases stamina drain while fighting with your fist. Um, is this one an ability? A strike of tremendous strength is brought down on activation, stunning and inflicting great damage in torpor whenever it hits. Okay, so this is an active that I can show you guys. So as you can see, you have 1 through 10, which are items. So it's like your normal items, like you have an arc, it's placing stuff, it's having your weapons. Then the top here, we have F1 through F10. Now F1 is auto set on claim flags which you have everywhere um f2 is set on a dance baseline and then all the other ones are skills so right there that was basically a skill then it puts it on a cooldown you can use again um, whenever the cooldown's up so they're basically abilities in the game i haven't seen any that are like magic really some are like power shots some are reloading quicker that's like a smash attack with your fists so there are like extra abilities to actually get. And um, then we have brass knuckles, so you can make brass knuckles. There's melee mastery, which we already have, so there's it's in here as well. It's the same thing. It's a bit weird. Um, reduces incoming torpor damage from melee hits. Then flurry of blows when activated. Um, attack speed is increased, but the stamina is doubled. So right here, we can just use that. And then your attack speed is doubled. It doesn't actually look that fast, but I'm sure it might be faster at some with like more skills into it. 
then you just have increases to everything, basically. I'm going to try to go through this quicker, except at the bottom, reduce all stamina consumption from all sources by a small amount. Um, so these are kind of just like actual skill trees. They're not too super big in any of them, but they're still pretty cool. So let's go into archery next. So archery is just bows. Um, you can make bows, you can make flame arrows. These ones you can make, um, that just lets you use higher tier stuff. Then there's grenades you can make, there's strong arm, increases damage dealt by projectiles, not guns, so that's like thrown weapons and bows. Um, you can make thrown weapons here, you can make oil jars, um, reduces your shake when using weapons. Then there's piercing shot, another ability with a bow. I don't have anything on me because all my stuff's on one of our ships. But piercing shot, I've used this before, so basically it's an ability, you charge up a bow attack and it pierces armor and does a ton of damage. Um, on a cooldown like an ability. There's unlock firearms. Then there's just buffs everything else. There's even buffs to the actual abilities themselves. This is pretty cool. So then um, that's just advanced tools. We can go into cooking. So cooking, we have basics of cooking. It gives you all the different cooking things. You can make ale, berry, tea. I don't think anyone like anyone has really super gone into this that's been super far because the servers are so messed up We've we're just getting like a lot of our people in. Here's the amount of damage taking while from eating over your max food value. Um, increases speed for cooking. Then you have a bunch of basic recipes. Um, we haven't actually had anyone to make really any of these either. Um, but there's a bunch of different recipes. Food cooking, then preservation stuff, which is pretty cool. Soil tilling, so you can till soil to plant stuff. Um, I assume there's going to be farming in this tree somewhere. But there's farming, so this is all just buffs. Um, secrets of telling, you can get your large crop plots, stuff like that. Um, there's a grill. And what is this? Once every six hours, a chef can activate this and produce a dish of tremendous complexity that requires all the resources in their, invent in their own inventory. Okay, so some super food every six hours. That's pretty cool. Um, so next, we can go into medicine. So then you, you can craft med kits. Um, med kits use speed. Medical kit healing effectiveness. Physical skills. So there's a mini game with a medical longevity. Duration increases. So these are just all increases. Save your feet. In a pinch, medics have known to perform miracles. This is one of those miracles when activated and equipped with med kit is consumed entirely and all nearby allies are healed for a great amount okay so that's really cool that is more along the lines of something magic um instead of just like you know a power to bow attack or faster reloading a gun or something like that that seems more something like magic but i think you actually need the med kit yeah you actually need the med kit for that so it is still some magic tied in with some stuff um then it's just an increase all that. Now something with the med kits is we had someone make them and they said they weren't able to use that it on themselves with basic med kits. So I'm not certain on that, but it seems med kits might only be usable on other people. This is all super new stuff. So I'm just going through the skill trees. A lot of the stuff I haven't tested, a lot of the stuff, I don't know exactly how it works, but it's still worth giving you guys a look at it, especially if, you, if you've bought in the game and not been able to get into it. So let's go Beast Mastery. So this is Taming. So Taming is quite different. Um, there is the Neutral Taming from Ark, which is basically you sneak up behind stuff and basically just give it food. Then, the I'm pretty sure most of the other Taming is basically you have to get whatever you're trying to tame to low HP, like 30%. Then you use a Bola on it. And certain animals, it seems maybe they don't want to get tamed at certain times, but other ones you just Bola. And then they'll be bullet for a certain amount of time, say tigers, right? You bull them, then they're going to want prime meat. Um, I don't know if the food changes for, like, say tiger, if it wants something different at a different time. I don't think it will right now. But it wants that. You could feed every, like, 30 seconds for a tiger. It's going to be down for 1 minute and 30 seconds. So you're going to have to keep it low HP because they do regen when they're just standing there. Um, or bullet on the ground. So you can... So you're going to want to get them low again. So trapping in like trap buildings and stuff is going to be completely needed. You're going to need it pretty much for 100% of tames. 
and then you just hit them with something low damage again, bowl them again, and then feed them. So it's not too hard if you actually, if you do the necessary stuff to basically get ready for taming, it's going to be fine. So you have to learn the commands. A lot of Pathfinder give commands to the most basic tame creatures. So you have to learn the commands. You have to learn riding, which lets you get saddles. You have to learn breeding, so you're able to breed dinos like Ark. Um, this is just basically detection. So um, if you get this, um, creatures will detect you um, basically in a lesser radius, pretty much. There's taming proficiency. There's an ability. That gives a damage boost when you're riding something. That's only when riding something. Riding skill 2, so you can ride tier 2 animals. Um, there's a healing thing that when you're riding an uh, animal, you can heal it. Uh, more sneaking, more breeding, all the different tiers. Um, there's cargo harnesses for a car for cargo. There's a carriage as well, so that's where you get those. Um, improved abilities. This is all just improved stuff, improved stuff. And you need all this because... Um, there's all these different tiers of animals that you need. So there's tier 1 through 3. So like tigers and stuff are tier 2, I'm pretty sure. Maybe tier 3. Um, so we've done construction. We can just we did hand to hand. We can go into melee. So melee, um, that's give access to the sword, pike. Am I going to die? I'm probably going to end up dying. Um... Then two-handed swords of higher quality, more high quality stuff. There's parrying. So you actually have to go into, like, melee in the skill tree to actually learn, like, parrying and different abilities and stuff like that. Um, just more buffs, basically. More buffs, more buffs to different things. 200 durability damage. Just buffs all this type of stuff. This is an ability of wide... Circular strike performed at high speed strikes all enemies in a 360 degree radius centered on the user. Okay, so that's basically a whirlwind almost. Um, 200 weapons, 200 mace. Uh, more high quality stuff, all upgrades to stuff. More upgrades. This one I've seen, so it's a big slam you do in front of people, in front of yourself with 200 weapons. It looks pretty cool. More improved abilities, more improved. Critical strikes. When activated, the next strike from equipped with sword that deals damage greatly increases damage instead. So there's even critical strike activatables, which are pretty cool. Um, so this one activates you ignore armor. When activated for a short duration, strikes with 200 weapons do greatly increase torpor. Okay, so I guess that'd probably be for tranking humans or animals to be able to kill them quicker. Because I don't think you trank animals to tame them at all, really. Um... When activated, so this is when activated and 200 weapons equipped, the player focuses a brief amount of time and then strikes the ground in front of him. Okay, oh, that's just the upgrade for the thing I already talked about. Okay, so there's more upgrades. Um, we already went through archery, right? Okay, yeah, we already went through archery. Let's get firearms. So firearms are pretty cool. I went into them because you can dual wield pistols and firearms are pretty good, even though they reload slow. But this is just this is just um, upgrades to pistol reloading, upgrade to the concentration, so the mini game for reloading quicker, um, the spread, all this type of stuff. There's artillery in here as well, and that's just upgrades of everything. Then you can get a blunderbust here. Then there's an ability for any weapon. Um, it says when activated with pistol, rifle, or blunderbust, which is pretty much all the weapons that we can see in game right now. Um, you activate it and it reloads super quickly and you don't have to do the mini game. It reloads much quicker than even doing the mini game perfectly. Then there's Blunderbust and then there's the Carbine, which is the rifle. Um, so let's grab that artillery before we leave. So next is armor. So this is just armor. Um, armor movement penalty because higher, heavier armor um, gives you penalty to movement. Temperature fortitude penalty. So that's basically if, say, you're in plate armor. Um, there would be a penalty to certain temperatures and with this it reduces it and it seems to even make it positive I don't know exactly like the numbers on that type of stuff there are percentages but this lets you make all the hide armor basically full set of hide and fur um, then just upkeep so it reduces the durability loss you can use higher tier armors 
wooden and metal shields. The upgrades, all the stuff we talked about, shield studies, so higher shields. Upgrades, all the stuff we talked about. Then secrets of armor, which is all the plate stuff, and then the glider suit as well. Um, then these are, see, is there actually, see, these are just shield durabilities. Um, upgrades to shields and stuff, and I'm pretty sure shield slam is just something you get with your shield. Just baseline, I'm pretty sure, because I haven't seen an ability in here that actually gives you an ability. So I'm pretty sure that's something baseline. Then we have artillery, which is all the artillery weapons. There's ammunition storage for ships, which you put this box on a ship. You put ammo in it, and then all the guns known as to carry the ammo on them. Um, you can just reload the guns while you're on the guns. Um, there's normal cannons and cannonballs, swivel guns, um, but a lot of this stuff can have a bunch of different ammo types, um, and you can load it. There's a menu at the bottom left when you're on the gun that you can just load in the different ammo types if you have them. Um, so different, all these are different ammo types as well, barb shot. Um, then we just have reloading stuff, all type of stuff like that. Cannons are shot a different shot. Bigger cannon. I don't know if you can put these on ships. We haven't actually tried. We haven't put it on land, and they're massive. These are the normal cannons you'd have on ships that also do lock if you make like cannon fight like cannon holes on ships um they lock to it more ammo types more upgrades all this type of stuff then we have mortar studies which are mortar and mortar shot you can't put those on ships um maybe the best ship but we've made the tier three or four ship i'm pretty sure it's four because there's only two above it if you count so it's four if you count the raft you can't put it on that. Um, it's a pretty massive mortar. Greek fire, so that's liquid flame, actually. Um, siege studies, ballista, and catapults. Um, then there's the puckle gun, um, which is like kind of a mounted five-shot thing. Basically turret. Um, explosive barrels, so there's explosives there if you want to raid with those or just blow stuff up with those. That's pretty much it. I think I got all the weapons, or all the artillery. So what is this next one? Seamanship. Right there. I am almost dead. I'm going to have to respawn here because I'm almost dead. I don't have any of my armor. We're on a voyage and I'm going to be going to sleep here soon. So I just stored all my stuff on the ship. Um, so seamanship here. You can make the raft, the dinghy, tiny shipyard, and buoy. So, base, so baseline, you don't need to know how to make rafts. At the um, free ports, there's vendors there that if you just give them the resources, they'll make you the raft, basically. A map maker. Our central parts of navigating. So it's basically fog of war range and shroud of war range by 50%. Um, so you can basically see on the horizons better. Um, captaining. That is a different one, isn't it? Yep, captaining is a different one. Uh, more navigation stuff. This one gives you the sextant. Um, which the sextant has a mini game where if you look up in the stars, There'll be like a um, outline star that if you basically look directly at, it'll start a mini game where you follow the stars and then it gives you a buff. Um, so sightseeing, that's just more buffs. Shipwright, being able to write, make higher up shipyards where you can make a sloop, um, a small shipyard. Piracy, which is another tree. Um, just more upgrades to all the different, you know, sightseeing, all that type of stuff. Medium handling sails. So there's different sails. There's like better handling ones. There's speed sail, stuff like that. So that's speed sail, weight sail. Um, I actually don't know what weight sail is. I would assume that it is super low weight. So the ship doesn't, because ships have weight. Ships have a limit to the amount of people you have, uh, can have on it. The amount of, the limit to, um, how many beds you can have on it. These are all upgrades. Um, then the different upgrades, the better um, sails, gun ports. You can fully customize your ship exactly how you want as well. Large gun. Okay, so is this for the large cannon then, I'd assume? Okay, so large cannons are available. Probably on the bigger ships because it'd be s probably a lot heavier. Dinghy dock. Artillery's in here as well. I don't know why they have multiple of these. I guess you can go in different, skill different paths to get it. Um... Advanced, so large shipyard and brigantine, which we don't have. We actually skipped. Um, yeah, right here. So that's a scooter. That's the biggest one we have. It's a decent sized ship as well. Then there's the brigantine. Um, there's all the upgrades. The expert, which is the galley and the big boy. Um, we're not even close to that. I don't think anyone in the world is, probably. Um, so next we have captaining. 
We'll do that. Check that out. Um, ship maintenance upgrades. Lieutenant Command Podium. Okay, so this is all stuff basically for putting on your ship as well. Um, so there's music. What is that? Okay, music and dance is a separate one. But this this box is the loot. Um, these two boxes are basically when you have crew, so not players, you have to pay them money and keep them fed. One of these you keep the food in, one of them you keep the gold in, and it auto feeds and auto pays them when they um, require it, basically. Um, that just upgrades the payments, um, just upgrades a bunch of different stuff. They consume less food. Um, Increase maintenance, rally the troops to command next shower rings out and encourages all those on all those aboard this captain's ship to work their hardest, offering greatly reduced stamina consumption and increasing reload speeds for all crew aboard. So this would be for players as well, I'm pretty sure. So you can buff players, um just increases to all the stuff as well. Um all the buffs, all the buffs, reload overdrive. When activated, all reload on the on the ship. Happen incredibly quick for the next three seconds, allowing a massive front loaded assault to take place. Okay, so that's a super reload ability, too. So that's really good. If you're going to be doing ships a lot, you're going to want someone actually doing this. Um, so we've done it all, right? Up to cooking. We did cooking. So we've done all of these. Yeah, we've done all of these. Okay, let's go back to this and get piracy. So, piracy here. Alright, we can actually do music and dance first. Where's music and dance at? It's somewhere here. Yeah. Music and dance. Where did it go? Is it here? It's right here. Did you see that damage? Hold on. Voice phone. There we go. Dudes in my company. So this this is all people in my company. We have our company split up into different groups basically on the island because we own an entire island right now. Okay, so we were going to music. So basically music, accordion, war drums. So basically these are all just going to be buffs to music. Um, stamina drain reduction for dancing, you can dance. Um, so basically all of these are going to be, so basically the musical instruments um, you can play on them just like play how you want with the different keys and stuff um, Or you can get sheet music which if you play the sheet music correctly It'll get buffs and you can like join bands when someone's doing a song So like six people can join in and I'm pretty sure it gives more and more people buffs it gives better buffs the more sheet music you have and that's basically all this is, is all upgrades to helping you do that better and stuff like that um, Increase the radius of the area in which musical songs they have their buffs, so yeah, increasing the radius of their buffs. So next we have piracy, so this is blackjack, handcuffs, hanging noose, all that type of stuff. Um, then you have cages, so plunder increases the quality of resources returned from demolishing slash salvaging shipwrecks. So we haven't even, we haven't really tested that. We did kill someone's sloop but we weren't any able to get ever anything from it so we don't actually know what was with that increases the quality of resource gain from shoveling i haven't done that either I, I haven't done any shoveling stuff so i know you can lay on the ground and dig up water and you can also shovel shovel up water um from green ground areas and i'm not certain what else shoveling stuff of is for so damage versus army of the dead or Army of the Damned. We haven't found any of those either. We're actually just on a long, vo long voyage. We didn't find any drops or ships of the damned. Don't actually know where they are. Buried treasure emitter. So this is helping you find the buried treasure from the treasure maps. Um, grog. So alcohol. Diver. Um, so increases the ability of diving suits. Stuff like that. Did I miss the diving suits up here? Okay, diving attachments. Right there. Um, just upgrades all the stuff we've already gone over. More plunder. All that type of stuff. Um, prying eyes feed. When activated for a short duration, you are able to view the contents of any container without being able to add or remove items. You do not need to be the same team as a container owner. Okay, so that is really cool. So basically, if someone has that, 
say if there's vaults, and we don't even know if there's vaults. I don't think there's actually like those vaults or anything in the game. But if there's like contain like tons of containers in a base, someone could just use this and look inside all of them without being able to take stuff or anything like that. They could see inside and see which side which ones you want to go for first, or if you don't have enough time to show everything, stuff like that. Player reactivates this performer feats of supreme privacy, allowing them to greatly accelerate the rate at which your ship claims flags countdown. Okay, so yeah, this is um basically if you kill someone on a ship, then jump on it, and none of them are on it, you'll start to declaim it from them and claim it for yourself. So this increases that time because it's really long, and I assume this is very good. Tarot system is not in the game. It's tarot card system. This might be actual magic stuff. Not certain because it's not in the game yet. And that's pretty much it. So subscribe if you want to see more Atlas content. I'll be playing a ton. I've been playing it a ton. My opinion, it's really good um, of a game once you get around the server issues. The massive server issues. After that, once you're out of the free ports, it's actually pretty smooth. But subscribe if you want to see more Atlas content. Like the video if you like it. Leave a comment comment down below what you think about all these skill trees and stuff like that atlas as a whole and thanks for watching